This is the first part of rebuilding my 1997 Yamaha RXG right on time before her 25th birthday on December 2022. Even though I'm doing this rebuild all by myself, I'm incredibly thankful to my friends, my mentors and my seniors who have helped me a lot along the way. So in this video you guys will be seeing me taking off every single component of the motorcycle until what's left is a chassis and a complete mess of parts lying everywhere. Now let's roll the intro. As usual, work begins with the 14mm T-spanner. I am removing the sari guard. It's held by 3 bolts. Next will be the seat which is held by 2 bolts. Then disconnecting the rear lights. I actually wanted to take them off separately but to save time I took the entire grab rail assembly as one unit. So the stop light, the rear indicator and the rear number plate comes off as one. Next is the rear mud guard which are held by 2 bolts and then I remove the side panels both left and right. I remove the fuel pipe from the petcock, then remove the tank bolt and the tank is off. Next I am removing the battery, still in great shape, along with the rear mudguard will be used again. Now I am removing the side bolts that hold the rear mudguard and it's off. Next I am removing the 4 screws of the chain cover and the bottom one is off. Top front screw was gone so that took some more time, the top one is off too. Next I am undoing the wiring, basically the CDS sits on top and it has a couple of wires coming from the coil plate and also for the tachometer. So I am removing them. Next I use an impact driver to loosen the screws of the relatively new air filter box which will be reused. Now I am loosening up the hose clamps that hold the carburetor to the air filter box and to the engine and the carburetor is also off now. There is one more bolt that holds the air filter box present in the middle which is a little bit hard to access. So I will hit that later. So now I am removing the ground clamp and the side panel clamp from the chassis. Once that was done the struggle continued to remove that center bolt. But thanks to the ratchet, it did loosen up and the air filter box is out. Next will be the chain, so I am removing the lock clip and the chain is off. Next I removed the chain adjusters, both right and the left side. Now here is where I started screwing things up. Next was the wheel axle, couple of trial and errors with the socket size, it did come off. Next I started to remove the rear brake assembly, the brake cam, the rod and stuff. But it took its own sweet time and was not an easy task. The brake rod with the springs and stuff was a little jammed up so it will not give up the rear wheel. So I kept trying. After a couple of tries the rear wheel was off. Next would be the two bolts that hold the inner mudguard and the toolbox and they are off. Next I remove the rear sprocket shaft. Then the left. And the right shock observers get removed. I also loosened up the collar nut that holds the exhaust pin pipe to the exhaust and also the swing arm axle. Now left side footrest bracket comes off and the swing arm is off. There is a bolt under that holds the exhaust in place so I kept a spool there so when I remove it doesn't fall and the exhaust is off. Next I remove the power box, the pipe, the fold and didn't forget to stay hydrated because the summer is crazy here. Next I decided to remove the engine off the chassis and this is where things started going wrong. Removing the left side engine cover. Also remove the clutch cable which was the first time for me. It was a little challenging but I got it off, no problem. Next I have to remove the entire front end so out goes the mirrors. Next the accelerator mount. And then uh, removing the console, the meter console which took its own time uh, because of the rather tall bolts and it did come off, got loose and I positioned it in such a way that I can remove the back plate and also remove all the bulbs and stuff. Couple of seconds and the entire meter console is off. Next I remove the two screws that are holding the headlight reflector and uh, a lot of wiring and stuff so I just ripped everything. These wires are pretty old so I am not going to use them again. The plastic housing was broken in a small accident, so that goes to the trash. A custom made brake switch wire is still retained, it's in great shape, so I'll be using that on the rebuild. After either junking or saving some wires, I then loosened up and uh, removed the front number plate assembly, which revealed the two bolts that sit on the bottom T that hold the four tubes, and they were loosened up too. The right side bolt has a small clamp that holds the wiring in place, so that clamp is also saved. 
Now I'm removing everything off the handle bar. As you guys can see, the right side caliper, master cylinder, throttle is off. Now I'm removing the left side clutch lever, and I struggled a little bit on removing the handle grip, but it did come off after a few taps. The switch gear had one screw that was rounded off, so it took a little bit more effort. Then finally, the clutch yoke comes off, and that's the last of it. And then the handle bar gets removed. Then I loosen up the top T bolts. Which hold the forks in position. Another huge mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Then I remove the top T center bolt and little taps, and it came right off. Then I loosened up the front wheel axle. Remove the speedo ohm. Also make sure that they are safe. Then the left and right headlight holders, the headlights, they also came off. Now I get back down to the engine. So I start by removing the side stand. There's one more clamp to the right, so that also came off. Then I started removing the engine bolts. We just sat the engine to the chassis. So the front one was off. Then I don't know why, but I had an idea of removing the head first, so I did that. I then foolishly tried removing the engine bolts using a normal spanner, only to fail right on my face. You're supposed to use a ring spanner there. Others will not work unless end up rounding the bolt like what I did. So that was also another mistake that I did. Then I switched the camera to a better angle. You guys can see it even better now. Next, I removed the drain bolt and got the oil out of it. Now I got back to the engine bolts and started removing them, only to find out that quite jammed and was pretty hard. But after a couple of tries, thankfully, I was able to get it off. Now all the bolts are off. I tried to remove the engine. When I did that, the fork started to come out, and the chassis was almost about to fall to the right side. So I kept the engine in a very awkward place, and I had to put everything back so the fork doesn't come out. And engine is off. Now it's time to remove the brake caliper, the front wheel assembly actually, and the chassis fell. <laughs> Anyways, I took it up and removal start again. Front axle is off and the wheel comes out. I also took out the forks. Now the chassis is almost bare, but I still need to remove the center stand and the brake pedal. Now here at this point, our house helper shows up and she's a big fan of me working on them. So she took a nice picture of me and also gave in good words of encouragement. Anyways, back to the bike. Now I'm removing the center stand pin, and the center stand is off. Now the chassis is bare. All I need to do is I have to remove the front mud guard. And the front mud guard is off. Now on the bottom T, you have this uh, outer rays of the bearing. So I'm using a chisel to get it out and out it comes. So now I have to remove the bottom key of the forks. So I'm using a hammer to gently tap it and uh, almost there, almost there, almost there, off it comes. And finally the disassembly is complete. So, hope you guys can see what all is done. Uh, everything has been disassembled. So the chassis, the frame is completely naked, everything is trimmed. So now I'm just gonna sort out what I need to replace and what I'm gonna keep. Uh, what I need to, you know, do for painting and, uh, uh, you know, electro plating and stuff. So that's the idea. The engine is on the left side actually. Uh, so the next ship there is be any rebuild anyways. I kind of don't know what I'm gonna do next. Uh, definitely need to sort everything out. But I'm, you know, just uh, gonna clean up the chassis. Uh, mainly the four tubes, uh, since I had a little accident, the four tubes are slightly bent, so I have to get them uh, either fixed up or chained. And also I'm going to give the chassis for any uh, corrections, you know, if there is any bends or anything like that. So yeah, let's see what I can do now. So finally I just got the chassis to a lathe shop along with the four tubes for uh, doing any bend removal work. Also as you guys can see, I'm going to use an RXZ center locking setup. So they will be welding a small piece of metal for the locking system to work when engaged. That's it for this video guys. Hope to see you all on part 2 where I stripped the engine. If you enjoyed this video, do leave a like below. Do comment down your video suggestions and video requests. Do share this with your fellow 2 strokers. Keep the blue smoke alive. Bratty Biker signing off. Have a wonderful day.